live from Austin, Texas with my very first slumber party. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. I, I, you've never done one before, huh? Never before. And tonight I'm going to have my very first one interactively with the Philips CDI. Ooh. Welcome, everyone. It's FMV night here on Retro Pals, and we're returning to a long lost pal, the Philips CDI. I uh, looked at all the games and systems we've streamed lately, and the CDI hasn't been done in like months. Oh no! It's been kept out of the. It's been. <laughs> it's been kept uh, from being voted in. It's been Ke kept from the limelight. Kept out of the Oval Office. Well, tonight we're gonna make things right, because Philip CDI is the commander in chief. <laughs> and we must play it. That's how it works. I'm a little loopy tonight. That's are okay, because these okay? games are extremely bizarre. Like I mentioned in the pre-show, we haven't seen them. I haven't seen these streamed. I haven't seen these covered. These are the most obscure of the most obscure, and some of them are even exclusive to the system. So please get ready for that. This week we took it to our patrons. We asked, hey, do you want to see Philips CDI FMV games or DVD video game show games? You... Girls Club ended up winning out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the competition was Press Your Luck, an interactive DVD video version of that. Would have followed that up with some other interesting game show-like games that we've collected, but those are going to have to be shoved to the side for now, because it's Philip CDI time. All right, real quick, we did, do have a bunch of resubs to mention. Uh, thank you to Hulux Fox for resubbing. They give us their blessings that the CDI won't crash. Thank you to Speedy Bree for the resub. They say hi, Uzi resubs, 25 months in a row, thank you. They say Girls Club Hype, and I know we got a resub from Loveless, and uh, I don't want to miss him. Comic Chameleon, okay. Thank you all so very much. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, okay. And, hell, let's get this started. Oh boy. Girls Club? Girls Club. The CDI is on, it's active, and from this point on you're going to get two hours of nothing but interactive entertainment. See, it's like regular entertainment, but you can interact with it. Hmm. Is that ethical? Uh, that's a question for the scientists to figure out. Okay, good. This is a good one. I'm looking forward to this. I know nothing of it except from what I've heard from a few people online. Oh my god! Absolutely perfect. Johnny said he kissed her. Michael hasn't called. It's got a song? Uh huh. He was harping in the hall. Jennifer, like Jay said, Tracy says she knew. Get everyone together. Only one thing we can do. It's so good. This is perfect! Someone please rip this song for us. Danny, can you rip this? I need this song in my life. I should. This aesthetic, these... So this already won you over, right? Yes! Yes! Oh my god, the orchestra hits! <laughs> Okay, uh, 300 bits from Loveless who says video game vocal tracks. Thank you. Agreed. And, uh, Thank you. And... Dream on. It's not Bennett. It's Daryl. Oh my god, this is it! He's cool. And he looked at me. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are here. I mean, gotta go. Bye. Well, I'm so glad you guys could make it because we are going to check out 
four of the hottest guys in the universe. And then, get this, if you play your cards right, the date with the one you choose just could turn into a dream date. Hey, huh. it'll be a blast. But first things first, and that means you've got to tell me how many of you are here to play. Is it one, two, three, or four? All right, so that's, so perfect, that's, that's perfect a lot to game. take in. That is a lot to take in. I'd say that is about, that easily takes a place in the top 10 FMV intros of all time. Perfect. Alex, are, is your audio fine? Is it just me who's uh, crackling? Oh yeah, mine's, mine sounds fine. Okay, yeah, I've just got a fucked up headphones. I just wanted to make sure it was okay for everyone. So, this is a multiplayer game. They basically demand for you to have two or more people. But instead of doing the pass and play like we want, I'm going to pick one player because this game does something that's pretty unique. And a few people have mentioned in chat that Heidi oh, love right. Heidi here it's... is played uh, most famous for oh. her role in Salute Your Shorts. You do know the rules of the game, I thought right? she looked familiar. Mm -hmm. If you do, pick the charms and we'll get playing. Charm? But if you don't, just move the sparkles over to the help button. <laughs> Danny, the slumber party kicks ass. <laughs> so yeah, this game is a virtual slumber party, and it's pretty much designed to be played as a board game by girls who are talking about boys at a slumber party. Uh, here's our instructions. They're worded pretty well, I think. Okay, everybody's gotta listen up, because I'm okay. only gonna go through the rules once. All of, all of this Everybody is good advice. Everybody starts by telling us about their perfect dream guy. Uh -huh. and the type of guy that makes them want to barf. <laughs> During each round, we'll learn a thing or two about your four choices, like what they like, what they definitely don't like, and what other people think about them. And last but not least, what they dream about being when they grow up. Get it? Got it? Good. At the end of each round, every player picks one of the four guys as the one they would go out with, knowing what they know so far. Then, they choose which guy they think the other players are going to pick as their dream date. Each player gets charms for every correct guess. Whoever has the most charms at the end of the game, ta-da, wins the best date. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Mm -hmm. Each player goes out on a date with the guy she has picked most often during the game. And how the date goes depends on how close this guy is to the dream date she describes at the beginning of each round. If he's close, the date will go great. If he's not so close, it could turn into a real, well, you know what I mean. That's a clusterfuck. It. That's enough. A real shit well, show. What are we waiting for? Let's play. Dream phone. Dream yes. phone is what you're thinking. This of, has yeah. elements of dream phone, uh, the mall with it all, and oh boy, this. And pretty pretty yourself? princess. No problem. You can invite one, two, or three of my friends to join the party. So here's what we're going to do here. This is a, an interactive portion of the program. These six ladies will introduce themselves, mm -hmm. and essentially they are uh, auditioning themselves for being on the show. I'm going to put up a straw poll after we watch these intros, and you can vote one to six based on which of these ladies you want to be with us. These, they all have a lot to say. They all have their own personalities, and I like them all, which is why I need you to help us narrow them down. Okay, okay here's number one. I'm Jennifer. I try to get everyone to call me Jenny, but it just won't stick. I guess I seem kind of serious or something, but I'm not like that in my heart. I mean, I want a guy who's adventurous, but he'll stick by me through thick and thin. But I'm not very good at picking out the right guys for me or for any of the other girls. But I'll know when I've met the right boy, though, because he'll call me Jenny. <laughs> So this is the archetypical uh, <laughs> slumber party guest, I guess you could say. I guess she loves Harvard. Why does she love Harvard? That was number one, Jennifer. Here is number two. She's called Jenny, Danny. Oh, Jenny. Let me Hi, fix that. Hi, I'm Allison. Who do I like? I mean, what do I think about boys? You know, a lot of times they're really hard to figure out. True. I wish I were better at it. <laughs> like, Tori only the most popular guy at school and the most obnoxious 
but his friend Jordan, I mean, he's not as good looking, but he's so nice. You know, that's the type of guy I could really go for. They playing a Beach Boys back there? Yeah, I was going to say, what is... Anyway, that's number two, Allison. Mm-hmm. Here is contestant number three. How you doing? I'm Keisha. There's no telling about me. How you I'm doing? I'm real unpredictable. And no, I, I haven't found the right guy. Yet. Like, I'm not trying to say I don't like him, but I'm interested in sport and other things. But you make it a game and I'm in. You better watch yourself, girls. When I get going, I surprise even myself. Not so much into guys, but into sports and other things. Keisha is, is an agent of chaos. That is I number love three. Her. Keisha, please consider her Keisha, so when casting good. your vote. Here's another personal favorite, number four. What do I think about boys? I'm crazy about them. Yes, all of them. But sometimes I can't figure out who's best for me. There's Cody, who really makes me laugh. And Mike, are his eyes just the biggest and bluest? But if I could go out with Donnie, I swear I'd never look at anyone else. Although, Justin could make me break that promise. Oh yeah, I'm Monica. So she's Dollar Tree Blossom. I love her. <laughs> With the biggest damn rose on her hat that I've ever seen in my life. You gotta be impressed by the rose. Just the mm -hmm. sheer size of it tells you everything you need to know about her. Alright, so that was number four, Monica. Up next is... Please, video game. Video game, please. Okay, you have to hit left or right to navigate through this, these people. Number five. Hello, I'm Tracy. Strictly a city girl. Fortunately, the kind of guys I like, well, I guess I like the type of guy I can learn something from. If you're going to be interviewing the major movie stars from around the world, like I am, then you need to know a lot. Mm. Maybe that's why I don't plan on getting serious about one guy. <laughs> why get tied down with one guy when there's so much out there to learn? I love her, too. That didn't go where I thought it was going to go, but okay. Uh, Tracy's playing the field. She is your number five. And finally, we got number six over here. This is it. Make your decision after hearing this interview. Number six. Talk to us. Oh, hi. I'm Courtney, of course. This party's going to be a class act now that I'm here. Not like that bubblehead Monica's last party. A huge mistake. My party would have been crammed with gorgeous guys who bring you presents and who know what to talk about. Me. <laughs> oh, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. Yeah, I've got you figured out. But that was quick. I know exactly what kind of guy you're going to go for. Do you? Do you really? I love them all. That was Courtney, number six. Here comes a poll. This is very important. Don't miss it. Do not miss this poll. You definitely want to click on this poll and vote for as many girls as you want. There it is. It is a multiple choice poll. You can vote for as many or as few as you want. We are going to pick the top three. They will be our gaming buddies for tonight. Uh, when we start the game, you're going to see FMV clips of them interacting with what they see on the screen, as well as them interacting directly with the CDI. Like, a lot of these clips are just them with a remote in their hands, looking happy. <laughs> so oh. which, whichever of these girls you want to see looking pleased while operating a CDI controller, vote for that girl and the other girls as well. Oh my what God. do you think, Alex? Well, uh... I like number one because she's she's basically the party at the slumber party. She's mm -hmm. the glue who holds it all together. She is. I also like number three, who is into sports and other things. Not so much boys. And her. for my third pick, I think I'm going to go have to go with uh, the lady with the big rose on her hat. Uh, Monica? Yeah, Monica. The whole vest and hat combo. I'm into it. Yeah, she uh, she seems cool. I, I, I just, who's going to be the girl at the slumber party who has a breakdown in the bathroom and has to be talked down? Uh, we don't want to invite her. Okay. Try, try to avoid that if possible. I'm going to give this about one more minute, I think. <laughs> who's, who's, whose parents are going to get a divorce during the slumber party? Oh, dear God. None, I've, I hope. I have, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have. Is that a thing that happened? <laughs> well, one time uh, I was at a slumber party and the, the, the host's parents had a massive argument while we were all playing snake, rattle, and roll. And oh, then the man. mom walked out, and then the dad just either 
Dad just sat down, took the controller, and just quietly played Snake, Rattle, and Roll. Holy shit. I never knew that Snake, <laughs> Rattle, and Roll had such advanced meaning for you. That's. I went to a lot of slumber parties. Yeah, I went to zero. I was never invited anywhere. I was very unpopular. <laughs> so this game is a good way of experiencing that vicariously, and you can lend your expertise to us. Uh, throughout tonight's stream. Sure. Uh, hopefully they're just... Gonna give this about <laughs> I didn't 15 mean... more seconds. I didn't mean to tell the most depressing story See, about... See, all, all kinds of fun things can happen at a slumber party. You never know. You never know. It's all about who you invite and whether your mom walks out on your dad. <laughs> and you just sit down and play Snake, Rattle, and I'm sorry. The fact that it was Snake, Rattle, and Roll just puts it way over the top. That's, that's what I also what I think about every time I think of Snake, Rattle, and I would, too, if that happened to me. Okay. All right, here okay, we go. We look. are closing the poll in five, four, three, two, one. Show me the results. Who won this week's poll? Our winners are... Number one is Keisha, number three, with 45 votes. Number two is number four, Monica, with 33 votes. And in third place is our number one, Jenny, with 29 votes. Nice. Good. I'm glad I influenced that selection because I did play, I did uh, do a test session with this group of girls last night and it worked really well. They're, they're real good people. You're going to like them. So let's go with one, three, and four. <laughs> Alex, I never Hi. knew this about you. Let's invite her. Yeah, you're invited. Welcome to the party. Also inviting you, number three, Keisha. How you doing? I'd love that. How you doing? I love her. That's so She's confident. She's so good. She's getting the job for sure. And finally, number four. What do I think about boys? Slow down. Slow down. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. And now we have a full party of four. I wanted to invite the two girls who hated each other just for the drama. Okay, girls. <laughs> time to pick your charm. I don't care who picks first, but let's get going. All right, we are going to be the purple diamonds. What does that represent? Uh, Tinky Winky. <laughs> cool, cool. See, those are the kind of interactions I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so good. She's awesome. Oh, the two-hander. And then the look. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, one last thing before we launch into figuring out what our dream dates are wearing. We gotta decide who goes first. To be fair, I'm gonna use only my most favorite cootie catcher. <laughs> Cute, huh? Is that what that's called? Mm hmm. Sometimes it's called mash if you're uh, doing it that way. Oh, I've heard mash. Yeah. yeah which is a different thing. Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Dream date time, and away we go. And you go first. Me. Oh, cool. Second. Third. Last. I should note we're about halfway through setup. <laughs> There's a lot of setup in this game, but it's worth it, trust me. Ah, uh, yes, they're also called fortune tellers. Ah. Uh. Okay, enough fantasy. Let's take a look at the real guys that you're going to get to choose from. Now, I'll get us started. Whose little sister Here's drew this? Here's the first four guys. I love <gasps> this game's aesthetic. That was a good noise. Auga. All right, it's the guy slot machine. Newly introduced in NBA 2K20. I was going to say, is this Microtransaction family? supported. What do you think? Cute or not? Cute? So get him now. Lock in any of the ones you like before you spin again. Not spin on. So the way this works is kind of like poker. We hold the boys we want. <laughs> uh, which of these boys do you want to hold, Alex? Um, okay, I, I, I think they mentioned that the third guy there, I forget his name, but that he's really nice. And I'd like to see a guy who doesn't suck. Okay, let's hold him. Okay, I don't know about the other men. I think one, is, is that the mystery meat guy on the far right? Maybe. Yeah, it's Carrot Top. Let's choose Carrot Top. We'll keep Carrot Top, all right. He's very muscly now. And then I think we'll re-roll for the other ones. All right. We gotta get a good bunch of guys here. Oh hmm. my god, these guys. Is that I... the same guy? <laughs> I, I don't... I don't like either of them, do you? No, I don't like them. Reroll. Reroll. We're rolling for stats. 
I'm hoping for high dexterity. Okay, here oh, we go. Oh, okay. I now see we're a talking. And a bad boy. Now we're talking. I, I'm casting my vote here. We keep yeah. this guy. Yeah, that guy is cool. And what about this guy? I mean, he looks like a prep. He looks like a prep, which would be very interesting, you know. To we bring probably that should into have a mix. prep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so we going with him? Yeah, let's go This looks prep. like a good bunch to me. Mm-hmm. Ooh la la. Well, <laughs> four interesting picks. She condescending us. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't blame her. I oh, you're it. into that? Hmm. <laughs> the way I figure it, on this planet, clothes count. And if you don't believe me, check this out. Meet Mr. Dream. Whoa, I've got to dress him fast. <laughs> oh, I love that part. Now looks like good. shit. <laughs> Those sweatpants. Mr. Dream wears sweatpants. Mr. Dream has depression. So we have to design our perfect guy, as we see in our mind's eye. Okay. How you gonna dress your dream guy, Diamond? You're up. Now, note that it's also gonna ask us to design... <laughs> It's also it's also gonna ask us to design our nightmare guy, and they use the same set of clothing, so keep that in mind. Okay, so... What's our dream guy? Um... I like, oh god, I, I don't know if he's a prep or a sporty guy, but I think that, I think he has to wear something like that, like, really 90s-esque, like that, or... Like this? Oh, the one before that. Okay. The, the one that looks like the guy from My Sharona, yeah, the My Sharona guy. There's two My Sharona outfits, there's this one and this one. <laughs> well, the second one, the second, yeah. Okay, yeah, the fancy yeah, one. one. The fancier one. And what kind of pants is he wearing? Oh my god, no, 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 go back to those awful hippie pants. Is that it? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Our, our dream date is the guy from uh, the cover of Fleetwood Mac's Rumors. <laughs> I think I had those shoes for a while. I think that dude was wearing boots, so here we go. Okay. You can go yeah, your own way. Have you seen the material. alternate shot from that photo shoot where he's like holding the balls right near his nuts? <laughs> That's maybe off topic. I'm sorry. No, it's good. It's good. You, you, you think about rumors lately? A little bit. Oh. oh, she's into the same pants. Oh, those shoes. I love him. Okay, Star, it's your turn to dress your fantasy guy. Now we have to keep in mind the likes and dislikes of our fellow players, so try to keep in mind what they're picking. Okay. Uh, that's pretty similar to us. Yeah. Clover, what's Mr. Perfect wearing this season? Clothing, I assume. <laughs> Everybody into that vest-pants combo. Okay, now meet Mr. We call this Dunn. the No Imagination Club. So, what's the most hideous outfit I could possibly put on you? <laughs> I see how it is. Yes. Totally excellent. Oh, please. Somebody call the fashion police and give this geek a ticket. You've made a powerful enemy today, lady. Okay, now, that, that outfit looks fine. Outfit. That's what I wear every day. <laughs> I know you're always wearing fucking, uh... Okay, Diamond, you're on. Vests. All right, so what's the asshole wear? Um... Oh, I hate, I hate that, I hate that, that jacket, that leather jacket. The real Hazuki jacket? I love it. Okay, 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 maybe not that one. <laughs> well, we're... no, we're going with what you said. Okay, so real Hazuki is our enemy here. He's a real dud. <laughs> Skeleton pants? Yeah! Skeleton Ryu. Bomber jacket and shorts is a pretty good dud outfit, That's nasty. I think. Don't yeah. do that. And he's gonna wear... Cowboy boots! Should it be cowboy boots? Yes! Cowboy boots, cowboy boots. Cowboy Ryu! Where in the heck are my cowboy boots? Well, I see what you mean. A real nightmare. Oh. Oh, there was flip-flops? I should have picked that. God damn. Oh, well. It's your turn. Dress your worst nightmare. Okay, so Hart really hates... This guy we're about to see. Mmm. <laughs> I love how she's not even really, she doesn't even give a shit about these guys. Yeah. The pressure's on, Star. You've got your work to do. Is the pressure Get on? Out. Make this guy a monster. Everyone hating on my best guy's outfit. <laughs> Everyone. Every freaking one of you. I invited you to my house. Well, my mom makes you pizza up. rolls. What's his deadness <laughs> wearing in your book? Is 
Okay, that's a proper asshole outfit. Oh, that sucks. Good job. Everyone here hates Fleetwood Mac exactly. <laughs> okay, school's in, and we've got to You're wearing that outfit! Guys. Can you believe it? You get to meet each of the guys you picked and choose your dream come true. Just remember, one girl's dud is another girl's dream date. So what are we waiting for? She's the dud! Let's okay, meet the boys. Guys, you're on. Give us your best opening shot. It's Anthony's turn. Anthony, the bad boy. Rap, rock, country, classical opera. What do you need? You name it, and I got it. It's, I can hook you up with the best. It's just the kid from Malcolm in the Middle. You want. My motto is: Give the customer what they want. The middle brother. For a small <laughs> fee, of course. Hey, well, Malcolm. There's the crook. The tickets you sold us were for the back row, not the front row. <laughs> Simple misunderstanding. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> He's so nasty. I, I like love him. him. He's a scammer. He's disgusting. Okay, here's Ralph. Oh my Ralph. God, Ralph! Ralph, you're wearing the magic pants. <laughs> Can you believe it? They're not serving tacos anymore. <laughs> First it's tacos, then it's fries. Before you know it, we'll have to wear school uniforms. It's all one big conspiracy, I tell you. We can't just sit by and take it. We need to rise up, stand together, and show our solidarity. Are you with me? Hey, where did everyone go? First they came for the tacos, then they came well, for me. I like what I see. <laughs> She's a fan. I'm okay, glad. let's hear from Matt. <laughs> Uh, I'm dying inside. It's a good one, this game. <laughs> a whoopee cushion. I cracked myself up. <laughs> hey, buddy. Nice shoes. Ringling Brothers must have had a fire sale. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had a cream pie ready. Hey, that's not funny. Guy seems thin-skinned. This is... Anyone who doesn't think he's neat has no taste. This is quite a group, and luckily our girls are just twisted enough to be oh, into it. Dennis, surf's up, dude. Dennis, please redeem this bunch. 100 bits from Loveless who says we live in a society. Whoa, <laughs> that was gnarly. I just outran Larry the Nazi hall monitor before he could write me up for not having a hall pass. Excuse me? Hey, I just got one righteous idea. If you're not doing anything after school, how would you like to have some skateboarding lessons from yours truly? Uh-oh. That's Larry again. I better shoot the curl to history class before om um, history. Later. Looks like the Gestapo's here, am I right? Jesus Christ! Read the room, dude! Larry. Larry, Larry, Larry. Well, I knew you were here somewhere. What do you think? Too weird? Well, it's funny how unpredictable people's tastes are. I mean, as we've just found out, some of the guys you picked seem really different from the way they looked. Remember, just because someone looks to die for doesn't mean they're the right guy for you. Okay, girls, it's time for your first choice. Which one of the four guys would you go out with based on what you know so far? Now, no gabbing about your choice because this has to be a secret vote. Okay. So based on what you saw, which boy would you go out with? Criminal, criminal, criminal. They're all criminals. I mean, the first one's the worst. The first one's more of a direct criminal. Uh, we're getting uh, 100 bits to say pick Fleetwood Mac. Uh, <laughs> I like Doc IRL. I did like the kid who was scamming people with tickets. Top uh, one, top one. The other kid one. was a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> the other one was talking about Nazi hall monitors. And the other one was just like kind of thin skinned. Yeah, the, the choice is clear. Now here's where you get to make your secret vote by uh, pushing on the D-pad so none of the other girls can know. I pushed up. Hikar calls him Rocky Rodent's human Sona. <laughs> I'd go out with Rocky. Who makes you flutter? Give it your best shot. Ain't no way you're gonna figure out my guy. It's probably the guy you're so like, I love this guy! The one you're wishing yeah. on. If you know what I like, I bet you're going to know which guy I picked. 
I think I do. Who's the lucky guy, Clover? Way to go! So now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. A woman of few words. Too. I like it. For everyone you guess right, you win a charm for your bracelet. <laughs> so, let's get on with the fun. Why ruin it with words? Shall we move on with the fun? Yes. I'm having fun. How about you, Diamond? Who do you think the competition's sweet on? Hmm. I'm crying, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. So, I know, I know that, who was Hart? Hart was, uh, Keisha? Yeah, yeah. And Keisha was into... The, the chemtrail guy. <laughs> this guy? Yeah, the conspiracy, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Star was, um... That was Jenny, and... Yeah, and she's into this she's guy. She's into the humor guy. And as for Clover, I don't know. She didn't say shit. She just sat there clicking the remote and nodding. <laughs> so she's probably going to go with the surfer guy is what I'd guess. They could also pick the guy we're after. No! You're up, Hart. What do your instincts say about the other player's choices? Whoa! This is no free throw. <laughs> to use Excuse a basketball me? analogy. Star, who's with who, according to you? Well, at least I can figure out who other people should be with. <laughs> Clover, <laughs> Clover, please, please just do that one animation. Please just do that one animation, I beg you. Yes! Yes! She says so much while saying nothing at all. She's an angel! Mm, interesting. Monumentally intense. Oh, well... I guess you want to see two, huh? Well, here's the results. Let's take a look at who Diamond picked for everyone else. Mm-hmm. Hart picked the following guys for everyone else. Here are Star's predictions for everyone else. <laughs> Star! Okay. Let's see who Clover thought... Star's a tie! Star, about. you're a little bit obsessed. Oh Clover. boy, the moment of truth. Who did everybody actually pick? Press any action button and find out. And here we go. Oh my god, they all want our man! The matches everyone made this round. They all want the crime man! They can't have him. Come on, let's check out the charm bracelets and see how everybody made out. And that was round one. Who won the most charms? It's a pretty weird game. This game is bizarre. No one can date the criminal but us. Diamond, you can add up. Hey. Oh, Hart, you zipped out. Aw, bad news, Star. You came up empty this round. You all suck. Is this a screen grab Clover, from Steven Universe? For you, there's. <laughs> All right, it's tied between us and Clover. Going down. Woman of few words, Clover. Yeah, hey, she's she's the most dangerous. You thought hearing these guys talk was cool. Wait oh. until we find out what their raves and rejects are. But first, each of you needs to define what you think your dream guy and your disaster dud would be into. You know, their likes and dislikes. Like, I mean, my dream guy would definitely have a thing for white convertibles. But definitely not tuning up funny hot rods. Well, you get the picture, don't Stupid you? Stupid hot rods. And now, each of you gets to pick one thing from the list that your dream guy would like. Who hates hot rods? So we get one like and one dislike for our chosen man. What would our man like? What's he into? Crime, obviously. Let's see if we have a crime option. Okay, Diamond. Rap. Rap? Frogs. Frogs? Going to parties. The beach. Opera. 
cruelty to animals. <laughs> they like cruelty to animals? No! Eggplant. Eggplant! Pep rallies. You're all sick and twisted. <laughs> Those are the only choices. Okay, um... What does he like? Eggplant. I, I, I didn't get cruelty to animals during my test session last night, but one of the choices was smoking. <laughs> he likes eggplant. He likes Stop. eggplant? All right. That's why he's doing all these crimes. That is a dude who's trying to fund his eggplant addiction. Mm -hmm. Cruelty to animals. Not cruelty to eggplant. animals. That's so weird. Hey, I can tell you're looking for a unique personality. Yeah. You could say that. What's your dream date into, Heart? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm crying. It's a pretty ridiculous game. That's so... Mm. Frogs. <laughs> I love her! Oh, frogs, who cares? So, Star, pick your faves. Don't pick cruelty to animals. Please don't pick yeah. cruelty to... Okay, good. Say, Clover, what are must-haves for your guy? Multiple people comparing Going this to, to look parties. Multiple people comparing this to look around you, and yeah, I'm getting that vibe here. Yeah. Well, Diamond. Rap. I would say cruelty to animals would be a bad thing for him Pet to be rally. into. Probably, cruelty but to animals. that seems like Opera. too much of a slam dunk. Like everyone hates cruelty to animals. How about pep rallies? The fuck beach. pep rallies. Yeah, fuck pep rallies. Opera. So this dude's gonna love um, cruelty to animals. Cruelty to animals. What? What did he love? Pep rallies. That one. That one right there. Okay, so he hates pep rallies. H. Yep, that's a diet in the world, dud. H. Who's going to say cruelty to animals, though? Someone's going to pick Art, it. What would your geekster like? Cruelty to animals. <laughs> she went there. She went there. Thank, thanks for going there, Keisha. Star, what would your dud like? What would your dud like? Opera. Yeah, pretty typical. I love Jenny. You're up, Clover. <laughs> Eggplant. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I see. I uh -huh. see. Fix, girl. Okay. Let's put your dreams on hold for a while. Gotta watch my back. It's time to meet up with the guys again. Eggplant so haters are me. here. All right, guys. What do you got to tell us? Here's Anthony. You see, lunchtime is not to be taken lightly, especially when it's spaghetti day. It is important to use the proper plates and utensils in order to enhance the dining experience. And remember, a meal shouldn't just be eaten. It should be savored. Oh. What do you expect? Something annoying like opera? <laughs> He's a wild card, it's he Ralph is. Turn. What? Ralph. Buddy. So I said no. I will not dissect an innocent frog in the name of science. <laughs> By chaining myself to my locker, I hope to make a statement that will wake up all those who are apathetic to the plight of our amphibian friends. Do you smell smoke? The key. Oh, where did I put the key? Ralph's gonna burn to death, I guess. Oh my god, Ralph. I love Ralph! Yo, Matt, talk to us. Fake vomit. I'm not in the mood. My friend Allison says that I always go one step too far in my jokes. I was just kidding her. I didn't mean to be hurtful. She got back at me, though. The other day, she slipped some eggplant to my favorite Chinese cup of noodles. That wasn't funny. I hate eggplant. And to think, I almost took a sip. Yeah. This is not the guy for us. Mm -mm. Not at all. 
And now it's Dennis's turn. Dennis, please, please redeem the group. Another bogus pep rally. Do I look like the rah-rah type? I need to spend all my time at the beach, riding the waves into one bodacious future. <laughs> now, where did I put my boogie board? Okay, we can make it work. If he hates pep Whoa, rallies. Oh, something's rank in there. What a dream. <laughs> she finally said something. I love her. <laughs> yeah, finally a reaction. <laughs> Strong showing okay. from Surfer Ted or whatever now his name is. I know the guys even better. What do you think? I mean, you want to change your mind? Or do you want to stay with the guy you chose last time? Everyone has to vote, even if you're sticking with the same guy. So are we sticking with the scumbag, or are we switching over to Surfer Guy because he hates pep rallies? I really like the scumbag, but I mean... Chat, I, want, I kind of you. yeah. Let's get the chat's input. What would you do if you were in our situation? I see. First thing I see is scumbag. So I do want to go with scumbag. He's won my heart, even if scumbag, scumbag. How about you, Diamond? It's like they say: opposites on. attract. Mm -hmm. Scumbag, scumbag. People love the scumbag. It's a natural fact. Heart, who makes you flutter? Scumbag, it is. We all love scumbag. Okay, I've made my move. So, Star, who is the one you're wishing on? I guess it's obvious to you guys who I voted for. Maybe. Who's the lucky guy, Clover? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Keeping her cards close. Not gonna let anyone know what she's thinking. I love Monica that's what so you call. Much. That's what you call strategy. you diamond who do you think the competition's sweet on all right so who who did heart pick last time oh i actually think heart was what's your favorite? Uh, heart chose ralph ralph is the fucking justice activist the uh, frog guy has she changed i wait who was into frogs her it, that's it why was... i think it's really frog i think it's him because okay. she really likes frogs too you got it and Star, Ginny, I think she's probably still into this dude. Mm -hmm. He's He's got that corny sense of humor that Ginny's love. Mm -hmm. And Clover, do you think... She seems like the type to switch on you. Yeah, she's... She's playing a trick. I bet she's going after our dude. Oh, God. That's I what bet. I bet. Oh, I'm placing my bet her. there. You're up, Hart. See, it's all what about the strategy. What do instincts say about the other player's choices? <laughs> yeah, you, I can't you, wait to figure this out. You leave our criminal alone. He's ours. Star, who's with who, according to you? Oh, this is so hard. How am I supposed to figure out who you guys picked? Okay, Sherlock Clover. What's your conclusion? Who did your buddies pick? <laughs> it gets me every time. Every time. I love her. It says so much and says nothing at all. Okay, <laughs> it's the moment of truth. Camera never lies. Here's Diamond's dynamite decisions. Check out who Hart thinks has got all of you walking on air. Oh, you think I'm in a Ralph, huh? Let me just say this is an extremely confusing way to present this information. Okay. Let's see who Clover thought Maybe all that's of you just had me. your sights set on. Like it's a tier list or something. Oh boy, the moment of truth. Who did everybody actually pick? Very Press fun. any action button and find out. <laughs> Alex has cried throughout his, this game. It's proof that games can make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. here's the matches everyone made oh, this they, round. Oh, I see, so. I got heart. But Clover's on, tough to pin let's down. Let's check out the charm bracelets and see how everybody made out. Clover's all over the place. Yeah. Clover's a mind reader. 
that's trying to fuck with you, like the mm-hmm. Joker. <laughs> I already Stop saw someone call St. Clover's trick, so... <laughs> All right, all right. Heart, you can count. Hmm. Star, yeah. you got. Nope. <laughs> Clover, for you there's. Nope. Okay, good. It's a good score. We're all pretty much on the same level. In round two? Are there rounds? Wild, huh? Me on the cover of this, uh, magazine? Well, we're going to learn all the juicy gossip about each of the guys you all have chosen. From his friends, families, dogs, cordless phones, you name it. But first, you've got to pick up personality words that describe your dream day and your disaster day. So let's get going, because I can't wait to find out all of the scoop. Oh, this is going to be death. All right, what words describe our scumbag boyfriend? Shit, awful. Bad. You're Hate him. Diamond? Crime. Did I mention crime? Helpful. No. Seriously busy. Wacky. Not big headed. Hangs out alone. Stands up to others. With it. Easy to talk to. Hard to get to know. Worries. <laughs> Straight edge. Nope. Stubborn. There's a lot of these. All right. Which one best describes our shithead, awful boyfriend? Um, I, I guess Hank's with it, with it, with it. Is he with it? Yes, he's with it. He's with it, it enough Chad to is, scam people. Chad is like with it, with it, with it. He seems pretty with it. Let's do it. Pretty terrific. Heart, describe your dream date's personality. Tell us about your frog-loving boyfriend. Likes a man who keeps seriously busy with frogs. <laughs> frogs. Star, what personality words launch you into outer space? <laughs> He's into rap, and he... is also helpful. Okay. A helpful rapper. Okay, Clover, describe your dream guy. Her boy... <laughs> Her, her boy likes <laughs> likes to party all the time, and he's wacky. Diamond, clue us in on your dud. All right, if she's into wacky, she may switch over to the goofball, the guy with the fake gaunt vomit. Mm, mm. All right, so our dud would be... <laughs> I hate people who are easy to talk to. Me too, fuck it. Straight, Straight edge. edge, yeah. Oh no, be me out of here. Gag me with a spoon. They were saying that still in 1991, right? Absolutely. Heart, describe your I love style. cruelty to animals and... Heart hates people who are cruel to animals and who are also hard to get to know. <laughs> Those angry loners who hate animals. Okay, Star. We go to school with these people? Your worst nightmare dud. <laughs> no opera. And no worries. Oh, man. Jenny's like, I'll do the worrying for both of us. <laughs> Better get kind of moving, day? Clover. What words say geek to you? Who's not worried? <laughs> she hates the geeks. Who are into eggplants as well as straight edge. Oh no, she's gonna go after our guy. She is so playing mind games with us. She is! Get away. I'm not showing you this. Forget it. Oh, okay. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> you thought I'd forget the bonus round. Well, I didn't. Now, listen. As painful as it bonus might be, round. you just know these guys actually did have old girlfriends in a prior life. Let's take a look into the past and see if you can match him up with her. Hmm. With an extra charm for every match. That's an interesting challenge. Let's do that. Can learn a lot by the people they've previously dated. Diamond. <laughs> who went with who? <laughs> dating each you. other? <laughs> well, 
He could be from the world you're dreaming about. Then again, he could be your worst nightmare. I don't want to hear that about a man! Oh, I don't know. He has these crazy blue-green eyes that melt my heart every time I stare into them. Problem is, he lives at the beach. I know who that is. If you think he's sincere, you're living on another planet. Mm. Probably your guy. Could be. He's the leader of the pack. Not. <laughs> it's Tiffany. It's Tiffany. I, I look at this guy and I instantly hear that song, Leader of the Pack, in my head. Yes. Well, he could be from the world you're dreaming about. Then again, he could be your worst nightmare. Again, I do not want to hear about men being my worst nightmare. I'm just going to pick Randy oh. for this one. Oh, I don't know. He has these crazy blue-green eyes that melt my heart every time I stare into them. Problem is, he lives at the beach. No, no, that's, no, that's so the gotta other be, kids. Uh, If you think he's sincere, you're living on another planet. That makes sense. He's a jokester. Yeah. Oh. And finally, Marissa. Okay, I'm happy with those choices. This game rules. Yeah, it's pretty wonderful. What you think, Hart? Which girls went with which guys? I will say it's like no other game I've played. And it is very girls slumber party-esque. It mm -hmm. does a good job of getting that across. I mean, I would assume. Star, which girl is part of whose past? <laughs> what a strangely worded statement. And finally, our arch okay, enemy, Clover. Clover. Deja vu it. Match up each guy with his ex-girlfriend. Somehow she's going to put Danny under all four of them. <laughs> really mess with my head. Yeah, everyone, everyone okay. got the surfer. Who's the best matchmaker? Well, let's have a look. It's me. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't want you fixing me up, Diamond. <laughs> oh, too bad, Heart. Better luck next time. Major excellence, Star. I, Way to go, Clover. I... So... I lose? How does this work? I think you lost. I think I lost. Yeah, just based on context. It doesn't sound good. Okay. Now we're gonna take a magical trip into the future. Can you handle finding out what's in store for your dream guy? No! Well, of course you can! Who wouldn't take a look into the future if they had the chance? Okay, so it's only loose sight. It still works. <laughs> but first, you need to predict what you think your dream date's fate will be. <laughs> she wink. It's hard to tell at this resolution. <laughs> what their fate will be? Like how they're gonna die? Okay, boat. Okay, uh, tragic boating accident. <laughs> Diamond, what's in the cards for your guy? Oh my god. Car salesman. Ah, uh, okay, future career. All right, will our goofball boyfriend be a car salesman? Environmentalist. Mm, environmentalist? Stand-up comedian. Handyman. No. Rock star. No. Computer programmer. Possibly. Maybe. Artist. Fireman. Car salesman. I think car salesman. He seems pretty car salesman-y, doesn't he? He's very scummy. I thought about firemen, but really it's more likely that he's going to start the fires instead of putting them out. Yeah. Let's go with car salesman. Car salesman, accidental murder, car smell salesman, con artist, car salesman. Yeah. He, he's got the gift of gab. He knows how to talk people into buying stuff that isn't necessarily the best. Total car salesman. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. Visit your local I'd Ford dealership it gonna be or like it's truck that. month. Every day is truck month for him. Mm -hmm. Heart, what do you like for your dream date's destiny? Her dream guy is an environmentalist. She wants that one guy so bad. She does. The frog lover. Star, what would you foretell for your guy? Yes, my helpful rapper boyfriend ends up being... Car salesman. <laughs> What's in the future for your guy, Clover? I'm sorry. I'm laughing just thinking about it. 
I'd focus- like to see those commercials. Car salesman. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, focused Mabel, for the free song. Yes, thank you. So, what do you think your royal dudster's going to show up doing in the future? <laughs> Come on, I'm just itching to find out. Can we please change that outfit? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a little lady. No, no. no. <laughs> we are just teens. We don't know any better. Okay. Well, Diamond, what's in store for your Mr. Dud? Environmentalist. Stand-up comedian. I want to say environmentalist just to dunk Candy on that man. one girl. Rockstar. Rockstar, that would suck. I... Programmer. Yeah, He'd Rockstar like would make Rockstar. the worst boyfriend. He'd just wear the like worst. the worst denim shirts. Totally, yeah, because it's the late 80s, early 90s. Just vape, just all It's all like, yeah, I'm like Van Halen, except better. <laughs> cool. <laughs> A total dud-like future. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> No millions of dollars for our boy. Heart, what do you see coming up for your dad? This theoretical cruelty to animals man who's hard to get to know. Of course is... he's hard to get to know. He's a, he likes to be Car salesman. A, a hated car salesman. <laughs> Instantly aligning herself against all the other people playing this game. Strong move, Keisha. Mm-hmm. Star, what's in your dad's future? This is a game where everyone ends up hating each other at the end, I think. Handyman. A worried handyman who's into opera. Yeah, that does sound, kind of sound like a serial killer. <laughs> Damn it! Yo, Clover. That's like Dexter. What's around the corner for your dud? More like Hannibal, but... Yeah, that too. Hannibal the handyman. Environmentalist. Wow! Wait a minute. She hates it! She hates... Wait a minute. Yeah! That's what he's getting me? Oh. Pardon me, but I couldn't resist checking out my 21st birthday. Clover's in so, my head. She's in my head, man. And see if your vision of the future is... I'm not going to win this. <laughs> She's going to win this through, tr- through trickery and... Anthony graduated high school and knew that college wasn't for him. <sighs> His future was in sales. Yes! You're yes! right! You're trying to sell real estate, stocks and bonds... Copy equipment and encyclopedias, Anthony found his true calling, luxury cars. Today, Anthony is a top luxury car salesman in the entire Western Hemisphere. That's our boy. I'm so proud of you, Anthony. I love you, Anthony. After graduating with a degree in Earth Sciences, Ralph went on a fact-finding tour in the Amazon and disappeared. Fortunately, he was found by an international rescue team Due to all of the publicity, the protection of the Amazon rainforest became a top priority of the environmental organization that he now runs. What? Okay. I guess he, he After lived. After filling the chancellor's office with shaving cream, Matt was expelled from college and told he would never make anything of himself. He's expelled. Undaunted, Matt went to New York to try stand-up comedy. After only three weeks, he was signed by an agent and given a million-dollar television deal. Uh, they'll put anything on TV nowadays. They put him up against Where's Rodney. Made him go to business school instead of letting him become a surfer. But he quit his job when he found out that the boardroom wasn't for storing surfboards, but rather for business meetings. Instead, Dennis became a handyman. Not that he's given up surfing. Surfing handyman. (laughs) Well. All right, man. Surf's up. Here to fix your pipes. Danny! Now that you've seen it all, past, present, and future, this is it. Major Babe Alert. Your last chance to vote for your dream day and the last chance to change your mind. Remember, this is like top secret, so keep your vote to yourself. Hey, with the competition heating up like this, what's keeping you girls? Oh yeah. Kill each other. Go for the throat. We got to stick with the car salesman. Yeah. As far as future plans go, I don't want the guy who disappears in the Amazon. I don't want the guy who fails out of college, gets expelled even, to become a comedian in New York. You know how much rent is there? No, yeah, no. I don't want to date a comedian. I don't even want to mention the surfer guy. Who are you sweet on? I'm totally sweet on Mr. Car Salesman. Heart, who makes you flutter? Yeah, and a prop comic. Who aspires to be the next Carrot Top? Who? Eh, I love her. Yeah. So, Star, who's the one you're wishing on? I'm, I could be friends with all these girls except for Clover. 
I think we would be bitter enemies. <laughs> you think Clover just, would really get you? Just yeah, just the guy, worst. Clover. Clover spreads some nasty rumors about Too you. Too bad I have to stick with just one guy. Can you guess who he is? <laughs> At this point, not really. Whoa, the votes are in. Way to Machiavellian go. Clover. So now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty and guess who picked who. For every one you guess right, you win a charm for your bracelet. So, let's get on with the fun. So who did they all pick last time? They all picked the same guy, right? Yeah, they picked either Ralph or... Not Ralph, but uh, the, the environmentalist or the bad boy. How about you, Diamond? Who do you think the competition sweet And since they all want car salesmen aside from Clover... I think they're going to be sweet on the bad boy. I'm going to vote for all, for for my guy, the bad boy. Okay. I'm going to put all my chips on this one. <laughs> this, this one guy with a great future, at least compared to everyone else. You're up, Hart. What do your instincts say about the other players' choices? I do think, though, that uh, that Keisha probably likes uh, the environmentalist. That that's really most seems... likely. But who even knows? Mm -hmm. Handyman's okay Star. too. Who's with who, according to you? I'm an environmentalist who disappeared. Ooh. I'm the best boyfriend. <laughs> now everybody cares about the rainforest, not because of all the environmental work done by the people okay, living Sherlock there. Clover. Me. What's Did everyone conclusion? vote for the what bad boy just now? Good. What about you, Clover? Do that nod They're one more. All so cute. It's hard for me to concentrate, but I guess I can do it. She is so manipulative. Oh my god. The one time I wanted to do the nod, she doesn't. High intensity jitters. Well, okay, gang. Let's find out who everybody actually picked. Who did they Let's pick? Take a look at who Diamond picked for everyone else. Does it matter? <laughs> yeah, that was me. Check out who Hart thinks has got all of you walking on air. <laughs> Here's who Star thought everyone else chose. <laughs> Figures, these are the guys He's mine! Get away! Your front door. <laughs> Don't you touch my boy! <laughs> Danny, wait He's the quick. perfect sar car salesman. <laughs> they, they do want the money! <laughs> 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 I knew Clover picked him. I knew it. Well, here's the matches everyone made. But she said she hated car salesmen. She lied to us. She literally lied to us to get to... Lied to me at my slumber check party. check out the charm bracelets and see how everybody made out. Oh, I'm dying inside. Never inviting her back. Clover, you are done for. She told my mom her pizza rolls sucked. She kicked my dog. She told my dad to shove it. And she's my best friend. <laughs> she got your parents to divorce. <laughs> Diamond, you can add up. <laughs> Ooh, five. Ooh. We might win this. Heart, you can count. <laughs> Star, mm. you got. And the meek shall inherit the earth. And also her will inherit Clover, the earth. For you, there's. I see. <laughs> Monica messing with you. Ready? Let's not waste any more time, because we've got to check out everybody's jewelry. Hold up your bracelets, girls, and let's count up those charms, and we'll see who the winner is. <laughs> I'm last place, all right? Fine. I got last place. You're on your way to the top. I hope you're all happy. You came in third. You're never invited back. Hot stuff, Clover. You came in second. You just didn't sizzle enough for number one. What can I say? You guys faked me out. She I is... can't believe it. There's a tie. A mind fuck to the very Way to end. Go, Hart. You're number one. Slam dunk at the buzzer. Yes. Oh, stars shine on. The winner. Somebody pinch me. It's too good to be true. <laughs> I'm happy right, for right. you. I promise I'll let you know how it went. Real happy for you. No, no, no. I'm not nervous much. <laughs> See ya. Ooh, I hope you're ready, because it's time for your date with the guy you chose most often. What do you think? Is it going to be everything you dreamed up? Let's find out. Yes, finally. This is the big payoff. 
<laughs> Here it is, everyone. 100 Bits from Loveless says, Game of the Year, all stars. Years. Here's your date with the guy you picked the most. She gets to go. Well, you guys got the Desert Dude Ranch. What? <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you earlier, but what? Your date comes for you in a great looking off road four wheel drive vehicle. <laughs> the Canyon Arrow. Off into the desert. <laughs> if you're going to be out there with the cactus and lizards, this is definitely the vehicle to be riding in. Why is he taking you to the desert? Are you gonna make drugs? Your date takes you horseback riding. Galloping off, you two have a great ride. Until a snake spooks the horses. Kills Oops. you both. The animals race off, leaving you two to your own devices. With the snake. We're dead. After checking his bearings, your date leads you to a secret desert mountain hot spring. And the two of you blissfully soak your feet until, in the cooler temperatures of the night, you walk back to civilization, guided by a blanket of beautiful stars. Oh, it's just like Breaking Bad. You all had a great time, and your guy insists you go out again, and again, and again. <laughs> and after the sun goes down, you sit out on the desert holding hands, looking up at the stars. You guys belong together. Even in the desert, love blooms. On a battlefield. <sighs> I'm so happy for you, Star. I'm glad you got <laughs> what you so want. Neat. It was the best. <sighs> All right, Danny. Heart, here's your date with the guy you picked most often. Also, Dog IRL beat me to the Burning Man reference. Other, then. Thank you. Tropical Paradise. Mm -hmm. Your date arrives in a chauffeur driven limo. What? that anybody would die for. Your date takes you sailing on a catamaran to a beautiful cove for snorkeling. Unfortunately, the catamaran's rudder breaks and you drift to an uncharted island. No phone, no fast food. You're stranded. Do we die? Oh no. Suddenly, you are surrounded by island natives. Are you fucking- After a far out dance party at the top of the island's volcano- You die! Some sort of initiation, the likable locals uh, treat you like visiting royalty, and eventually take you back to your hotel. That volcano's erupting, that's a way bigger concern we're than anything else. We're going to die, and also, we're being weird. What a this mega date. This is racist, I like it. Especially when he romantically holds your hand and gives you the sweetest kiss. Yes! You were hoping that would happen. <laughs> and then you two talk and talk and talk until it's time for him to go. Congratulations, this guy is for you. So since we got in fourth place, are we just gonna like... What a date. I can't get down out of the clouds. Do they just take us there in a, in a manure truck and then we eat <laughs> shit for dinner? Is that what it's gonna be for us? Clover, here's your date with the guy Clover you more than any too. other guy. Someone's jealous. You and your dream guy are being swept away to a winter wonderland. So jealous. Your date picks you up in a snowmobile, and you roar off down the road. Hope you brought your earmuffs. Thanks, Photoshop. <laughs> She's gonna tell him so much shit about us. Uh -oh. Yeah. Your date plans for the two of you to spend the day in the ski lodge watching boring reruns of 1950s ski films. There you are, when a blizzard blows up, causing a massive power failure. You sit in the dark, wondering, what's going to go wrong next? Yeah, BBH, this is Fox Hunt. We're in Aspen again. <laughs> the loop has started over. Your date passes the time with <laughs> yodeling demonstration, uh, triggering an avalanche. <laughs> Fortunately, help arrives just in time. And you spend the rest of the afternoon warming up in front of a roaring fire. That worked out. Well, it was almost the perfect date. I think this could be a sign of something long-lasting and romantic. But then again, you just might be good friends. That's what you get, Clover. For all your underhandedness. You know, it wasn't that bad.
It wasn't that good, but it wasn't that bad. I guess I guess okay. it's fine for you to go on a date with him. Okay. Diamond, here's your date. Here we go. Pick the most. Third place. Bright lights, big city. Okay. You and your dream guy have gotten the night on the town. Finally, it's my turn. Let's date. We gotta be okay. Your date for the evening arrives in a rickshaw, and you pedal away towards adventure. I'm pedaling nowhere. A good idea to have a driver, but this is a bit extreme. Uh, but who cares? The night is warm, and you've had your flu shots. I hope he's ready to pedal for the what? both of us, because fuck that. Flu shots? Your date takes you on a romantic ferry ride around the harbor. That's the worst looking However, ferry. when the ferry runs aground, you fall in the mud as you're trying to get off the boat. Your clothes are ruined. This date sucks. That sucks a lot. Your date hails a cab, and you hit the mall, where you buy new clothes. And then the two of you finish the night dancing at one of the hottest dance clubs in town. Oh, I love dance club. That's a 3DO game, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, some good things did happen. And then again, some things you're not too sure about. He's Doctor Who? Your date asks you out <laughs> next week. Maybe a nice, quiet movie? Probably worth another try. Good luck. Uh, we had an average date. <laughs> It was okay. We got okay. all muddy. Congrats to the winners. You others, don't worry. Because the more we play, the better you'll get, right? You betcha. In fact, if you want to play again right now, pick the TV. And if you don't, pick the door. I'm going to go with the door. Let's uh, go. Thanks for having us. Thank you for the lovely evening and the pizza rolls. But I think I'm done with all of you forever. Bye. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Peace. And above all, have fun, because you deserve it. That's Girls Club for the Philips CDI. One of the best CDI games I have ever played in my life. That was amazing! That game was wonderful. So good. So, so good. And it had a vocal track! Mm -hmm. Let's hear it again. Reprise. Johnny said he kissed her. Michael hasn't called. Thank you, I asked for the resub, six months, six more months of pizza rolls, exactly. Yeah, thank you. And Electric Boogie mentions that the director of this game, uh, the designer of this game, also worked on It Came From The Desert. Oh my god. It's all linked. It all comes back to Gross Club. Yes, yeah, nice to see that a lot of women worked on this, including propaganda films. Who are they? I assume they make propaganda films about boys. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, this is crackly to me. That's a pretty good piece of anti-boy propaganda. I never want to see another boy or man as long as I live. Well, we were third to get to our scumbag car salesman boyfriend, but in the end we had an okay evening. Our expectations were not met, but they weren't shattered either. Just another day in teenage life, and life goes on. In Girls Club for the Philips CDI. I know That's, we have to move on. We've been playing this for an hour and 16 minutes. That is but... one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Okay, so here's the good news. There's a whole lot of boys in this game, and a whole lot of other characters you can pick. I want to play this again. Not immediately. I want this to return at some point, and we'll pick a new stable of boys, a new <laughs> group of backstabbing girls, and we'll have us another slumber party at some point, because good god, this game. And thank the high school drama club! Did they just pull the actors from there? Oh, that would suck. Well, I mean, you don't gotta go to school, but you gotta be in a CDI game, so... Music was by the guy who did uh, CDI Tetris, so... Oh, excellent. Quite a pedigree. Monica is either a mandatory choice or permaband? Yeah. Uh, don't pay any attention to the screen. Imagine if I went to jail for Girls Club. I was gonna say, I think you actually own this, though. Yeah, this is the original disc. This is not a copy, but it is a broadcast. Ah, uh, Nobody tell the Girls Club. No. Well, that was good. That 
that uh, easily met my expectations. I'd been searching for that disc for years and years and years. Turns out Girls Club is a very rare game for the Philips CDI. Uh, even the Europe version I got is very uncommon. If you have a US version, I am jealous of you and also sell it to me. So it's hard to follow up on possibly the best game for the Philips CDI, but I think we'll go in a little bit of a different direction. We're not going to play that game just yet, Alex. We're going to play Dragon's Lair 2. Okay. A nice palate cleanser. A nice return to normalcy with Don Bluth. Oh no. Oh, that guy's not normal. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have Alex pull his everyman routine. No. And you can show us how good you are at Dragon's Lair 2, Time Warp. You are... <laughs> if this was a slumber party, I'd be... you'd be playing Snake, Rattle, and Roll. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Wow. Strong words. Uh, Play the game, Alex. Okay, okay. So this game, Dragon's Lair. Big hit in arcades in 83. They immediately started working on a, on a sequel. And a year or two later, it was done. And at that point, they decided that arcades didn't want Laserdisc games, so they shelved it for many years. 1991, a company named Leland licenses Dragon's the game Lair. and releases it in arcades. Kidnap? Oh, Daddy! Idiot! <laughs> Spirited away to a wrinkling time by the evil wizard Mordrock. <laughs> Daphne will be forced to marry the wicked Mordrock unless Ooh. Dirk can save her. All right, finished in 88. Kidnapped? Mommy's gone. So it took him a while to make this. by a bumbling old time machine, Dirk begins the rescue mission. Mine! Do it for the children. Got Once it. the casket of doom has opened, Mordrock will place the death ring upon Daphne's finger in marriage, and she will be lost forever. In the Time Warp. You ready? No, but okay. Let's go. Nope. Start. Here we go. Dragon's Lair 2. He's back. I was adjusting the audio, that shouldn't count. Okay, that didn't count. Okay. Bloop, 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 bloop. Kidnapped. My Daphne kidnaps again? Idiot! Stop! You better fight! Doing good? Man, freaking nice. Damn it. You're doing good. And then you got eaten. Bong, 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 bong. <laughs> I'm enjoying this after Girls Club. My Daphne kidnaps again? Idiot! Stop! You better fight my daughter! Big heaving bosoms. Danny, could you not? No. Ah, oh, close. I got one life left. What do you think of my guitar solo? Game over. Well, we got eaten. Good work, Alex. Your turn. So Alex was the sacrificial lamb for this game, because this is the hardest version of this game by far. It gives you... No continues. You have to start over from the beginning every single time. Every time. You get one extra life every time you beat a level. That's one bit of leniency. That's all the game gives you. You can also pause between the different cutscenes, at which point there's a mechanic I've never seen in any other game. If you pause for too long between levels, it drains your score. Also, that's, that's Daphne. That's Daphne. Cool. Here's what we're gonna do. There's we're gonna, no we're, way. We're gonna attempt a co-op playthrough of the world's most impossible, impossible FMV game. Also, pausing has a time limit of 30 minutes, so that gives you a lot of time to plot your next move. <laughs> so, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, you read me the next move that I have to do, and then I say, yep. And then you read me the next one after that. Okay. So let's practice. Uh, read me the first one here. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. 
Yep. Sword. Yep. Sword. Yep. Down. Yep. Left. Yep. Sword. Okay. I think we can make this work. Uh, the one wrinkle in this is that each scene has a possibility of being mirrored, at which point you need to read the alternate way through this level. So it'll, if, it's, if it's left one time, it might be right the other time. I think this first level most often does left, so try reading that one. It, it, yeah, okay. Okay, this is going to work out really badly. We're going to do one attempt, and then we're going to move on. Yeah. This is the stupidest idea I've ever had. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, tell me the first input. Uh, if it goes, if it's grammar scrolls left, then left. If it scrolls right, then right. Okay. Left. Left. Yep. Left. Yep. Left. Yep. Sword. Yep. Sword. Yep. Down. Yep. Right. Yep. Sword. Yep. Up. It was for a bonus. Let's try that again. Okay. That worked well, though. Okay, good. I think the bonus ones are tougher to time. Okay, this will be left again. Left. Yep. Left. Yep. Left. Yep. Sword. Yep. Sword. Yep. Down. Yep. Right. Yep. Sword. Yep. Up. Right. Okay, it's not letting me get the bonus item, so I'm just going to hit right instead. Okay. And in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the game from here, because fuck that. Okay. I will not continue. No. <laughs> Still, pretty good first attempt. I just have to be aware of those bonus items, because for whatever reason, you have to be exact with those. This game adds collectibles, God forbid. Mm -hmm, and if you don't collect them, you, uh, you don't win. Yeah, Can't yeah. Can't last stage. Let's start that over. From the main menu, I guess? Thanks, CDI. Freezing? It's fine. I'm just really excited for our last game. I am, too. You're not going to believe our last game. Mm -mm. This is downright normal compared to that last game. Okay, Dirk, this is your last chance. Don't fuck it up. Don't get killed by your mother-in-law again. Don't die, Dirk. Here we go. This is it. One credit clear. It's happening. Left. Yep. Left. Yep. Left. Yep. Sword. Yep. Sword. Yep. Down. Yep. Right. Yep. Sword. Yep. Right. Yep. Left. Left, not sword. It says right, left, down, sword, left, right, right, sword, <laughs> left, down. This is tougher than I imagined. This is a I true gamer's challenge. Sword, yeah. Okay. It looked like sword. My Daphne kidnapped. Left. Left. I okay, thank you. Left. Yep. Sword. Yep. Sword. Yep. Uh, down. Yep. Right. Yep. Sword. Yep. Right. Yep. Sword. Yep. Left. Yep. Right. Yep. Right. Oh, oh so I didn't get it. Right. Final life. This is it. Our last chance. Ah! Kidnapped. Sorry. Left. Kidnapped again. Yep. Left. Yep. Left. Yep. Sword. Yes. Sword. Yep. Down. Yep. Right. Yep. Sword. Yep. Right. Yep. Sword. Yep. Left. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Ah, uh, that should have been down. Oh. Curse this fact author. Well, the fact author screwed us up. I'm just gonna say that. And Damn it! Game over. Got bored. So. I was hoping to beat the hardest version of the hardest laser disc game, but no, that wasn't gonna happen. Absolutely not. I was just riding high off of our. Well, we didn't win girls club, but I mean, I'm just so glad to be away from that slumber party. <laughs> Monica was saying some shit. I'm just saying. Seriously, 
So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get the DVD version of Dragon's Lair 2, or some other version that's at least possible to finish, because we need to see this game. There is so much off-the-wall shit in this game. You would not believe it. I want to know about old Daphne. You see old Daphne, you shrink to small size, and you, you ride on Beethoven's piano and his cat tries to eat you. You get eaten a lot in Don Blue things. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a thing. Okay, so, uh, is it time? It's time. This is a game that I am confident no one has ever streamed on this website. Get ready for Dezak Van Sam. We're heading to the Netherlands, folks. Good old Dutchland. Wait a minute, that's somewhere else. That's... I mean... No, the, the Netherlands is Dutch. Yeah. Dezak yeah. Van Sam, yeah. yeah. Everyone's heard of him. The Great Detective. Dezak Van Sam. Apparently this game is very rare, and almost entirely unheard of. It was made by, uh, Norwegian film students. Yeah, yeah, it's made by a Norwegian, uh, wait, not Norwegian, it's from, it's Dutch. It's Netherlands. It's from Netherlands. That's yeah. right, yeah. It's very, Shouldn't it's mix those up. So the Netherlands, film students from the film academy, and a director who was also among those students made this game. So the cutting off on the bottom is in our game itself. Uh... Here's the problem with this game. It's telling us right now that it's available with English subtitles. That's good. Uh, what's less good is that the video is shifted down on NTSC consoles, which means that none of the subtitles are visible. Yeah, we can't see it either. For now, let's just enjoy what we can of the Zach Van Sam. Play it, Sam. Yeah, we need one of those PAL CDIs for this one. This is the real indie shit right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see how it's shifted down? That's unfortunate. It is. Oh, Gerard Myler. So, most people will mention this means Sam's case or the Sam case. So. Mm -hmm. This is Sam. Hey, Sam. He's very busy. Sharpening his pencils and then breaking them. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I like about this game is you can skip all this introduction, which will come in handy, because I found out you can die almost instantly in this game. Tot de duisternis in view en dood normale dag. Franka had om half elf de koffie gebracht. Is coming to both speakers. Sandwiches and om vier uur de warme chocolademelk. Okay, good. Nog een kwartier en dan zat het er weer op voor vandaag. Dan kon ik Sam D. Phillips naar huis genieten. Oh, Phillips, like the company. Oh, that's probably not coincidence. Dat dacht ik. Okay, translation from chat. He craves chocolate milk and coffee. <laughs> Same. Uh, yeah, actually. Gebeuren, wat al in tijden niet meer gebeurd was. En inderdaad, er werd geklopt. Now you may be wondering, is this a good game? Is this a bad game? No idea. We're gonna find out together. Antonio Baresi. Zeg maar dat ik het te druk heb. I've only screened this so far to make sure it's not porn. It's not. It certainly looks like it. Okay, he just told her that she he was busy. It is good, Franca. It is good. Gaat u zitten? Waarmee kan ik u van dienst zijn? Het gaat om mijn vrouw, Monica. Ze is verdwenen. Ik denk... ontvoerd. Rustig maar. Kalm. Ik kijk wat ik voor je kan doen. Binnen een week is ze terug. Vanavond. Vanavond moet ik haar hebben! Okay, he's talking about his uh, wife Monica who's vanished. Again, thank you very much to A Bad Idea for doing some translation for us here. Monica's vanished? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh... So this is in the future. So after the girls club. Yes. Monica had so many enemies. It could have been anyone. She's Molly. 
Ongelooflijk. Slank. Haar ogen. Och, jongen. Azuurblauw. Dat is een good fake mustache. Oh, it's shit, I love it. Zoenen. En haar haar. Zo blond als de veren van een pasgeboren kuip. Heeft u misschien enig idee waar ze is? Ik denk dat Bernardo Mangano daarachter zit. Weet het wel bijna zeker. De nachtclub-eigenaar. Voor twaalf uur vanavond. Oké, okay, he's describing his wife. Probably like my wife. Yes. <laughs> She used to have slumber parties. See? Talk about all the scumbags they want. They never want me, the stand-up mafia guy. Think that's a scumbag? Oh, maybe. Daar was ik mooi klaar mee. Antonio Baresi versus Bernardo Mangano. Hield het dan nooit op tussen die twee? Het enige wat ik nu nog nodig had, was mijn pistool. Maar waar had ik dat ding? Monica would fake her own death. <laughs> That sounds like something she'd do just to mess with us. Okay, Abby mentions in an interview with the director, uh, they said they wanted uh, the gameplay to play seamlessly like a movie with no cursor, interface, pauses, or, or prompts. Oh. Reminds me kind of of uh, what they were going with with Fox Hunt. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, I was just thinking that. Fox Hunt. Of all the games to base your FMV game on. This was, was this after or before Fox Hunt? Believe it or not, this was after. This is game is 1997. What? It's one of the last CDI games and extremely obscure. This is me. Finally found his gun book. He snaps too! Just like that girl did in Girls Club. <laughs> so this is like girls this is like future girls club then. The girls club is the Rosetta Stone of FMV games. <laughs> Weird relationship with his secretary. 25 bits from Ayas who says, Yes, my prized gun book. Now I can cast Ganaga. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what to make of this. I legit don't. Abby mentions the director was a film student who just really, really wanted to focus his student projects on multimedia. Okay. Makes sense. I kind of love this. Also, Sandy Phillips died to stop him. Sure. Sandy Phillips. Sure. I can't believe they actually named him Phillips. He's getting into his Mr. Bean car. Ooh, that's fair. Bij the the Lodge, of my kantoor. Bij de nachtclub had ik nog een rekening openstaan. Alright, that's the club. The Lodge kende ik nog van de zaak met de vermoorde haar. That's the dock. And bij mijn kantoor was ik net geweest. And that's our office. Geen makkelijke Let's keuze. go to the club. Yeah, that's seamless, alright. Yep, just pull right up onto the red carpet. The night club locked. Mochi Baka resubs 14 months. They say I'm not just a private eye. I'm a seedy eye. <laughs> Thank you. That's really wonderful. <laughs> that is a cool car. It's very cool. It is Fox Hunt! Look, he's he's looking between two different things! Why did they rip off Fox Hunt? Honestly, Fox Hunt does do it pretty seamlessly. You can't deny that. But it's Fox Hunt! Alright, let's choose this guy. Of all the games in the entire world... You think they even played Maybe. Fox Hunt? Do you have a pleasure? I bet they did. That guy speaks English. Well, then there's no face here. <laughs> is er een face here? En dat, dat gaat niet door? Omdat ik geen pasje heb? Wacht. Ik heb wel een pasje. Dit is ook goed. <laughs> It's not a nightclub pasje.
Hey, I know English too. We can relate. Uh, America, hamburgers. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hot let's dogs. Be, let's be friends. Yeah, hot dogs. Let's ask him again. Excuse me, uh, hot dogs. <laughs> Somehow that didn't work. Damn. But if at first you don't succeed, you gotta try again, because he'll admire our persistence. Damn me! I should have yelled hot dogs louder, you're right. Oh, are we dead? Uh, and that's the story of how Sam broke every bone in his body. How? He barely flew back! Come on! <laughs> Sam! Sam! Sam, my man! Sam, Sam has brittle bone disease. Fair enough, fair enough. Probably should have told us about that. Alles komt goed, Sam. Sam. Ja, Sam, ik ben bij je. Oh, Sam. Wat heb je nou toch allemaal gedaan? Oh. Waar ben je geweest, Sam? Sam. Ja, ik was zo ongerust. Oh, de volgende keer moet je voorzichtig zijn. Beloof je oh. me dat, Sam? Sam. Oh. Ja. Sam, die. Ah. Phillips. Oh. Oh. Sam, die. Oh. Waar staat die D eigenlijk voor, Sam? Sam. Oh. The end. All right, so bad idea. Uh, the nurse is like, "Here's your hat. Everything's good." Uh, exactly. He needs a hat to breathe. Orange Ride right gives us fifty bits and says, "F." F indeed. Thank you. And that's how Sam met his end: being punched, breaking every bone in his body, and apparently being in a coma for a while. All right, let's let's get to where we were. Okay. So I think you got to get to the nightclub. And then after that, after learning you don't have a pass, you go back to your office. Ah, uh, okay. This is what I want to say happens. But I haven't tested for sure. Probably shouldn't bother the guy a third time. <laughs> That's a pretty silly concept, driving onto the red carpet. Yeah, I, I like... kind of like that. Aw, little baby car. <laughs> beep beep. It's a baby. I drive a toy car to work. Alright, let's ask the dude about our pass. Good evening. Do you have a pleasure? Well, then there's no facial. <laughs> is there a facial? And that, that gaat niet door? Omdat ik geen pasje heb? I left it in my other pants. As I, I assume what he's saying. Ik heb wel een pasje. Deze ook goed. Yeah, I guess he does have a Lupin car. It's not a nightclub pasje. Oh, yeah, yeah, from Castle of Cagliostro. The car gets fucked up. Well, so is this guy, I assume. In the car we go. That's a very artful shot. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Yeah, apparently the director just really wanted to dive headfirst into the world of interactive film, apparently oblivious to the fact that it was all imploding around him. He did make a second movie, which never got a release on any console. It was just in theaters, as Avi said in our Discord earlier. Mm. It was one of those I'm your man situations where you vote to determine what happens. Alright, I haven't seen past this point, so let's see how we do. Who was it possible? Sam D. Phillips was something forgotten. That was me never overcome. Terwijl ik al jaren in het vak zat. 
Dat belooft u niet veel goeds. We don't deserve our secretary. <laughs> She's so good. She is ugh, the only one holding Franca. us together. <laughs> Where zou ik zijn zonder Franca? Did she give us what we need? I think so. Okay, let's go back to the club. This is innovation right here. This is art. You're, you're becoming smarter just by watching this. That and I just appreciate seeing FMV in another part of the world being developed by students. What a strange situation that brought this game together. Apparently in the previous scene he was thinking, what would I, where would I be without her, Franca, the, your wonderful secretary who's like the only one keeping shit down. She seems cool. Also, All right, let us in. The publisher of this published a uh, Domino's CDI game. Is it just called Domino? Because I have that one. Yes. Oh my god. Maybe I should go get that. Good evening. Do you have a pleasure? I certainly do. Also, why do you need a pass to get into a nightclub? It's a fancy nightclub. Uh, I guess fair enough, but... Yeah, you can park here. <laughs> I was gonna say, they're gonna move my... Oh, come on! You wouldn't let me into a bar that has no people in it. You need the customers, dude! Dialogue gets to me because it sounds a lot like English a lot of the time, but it's just not quite there. See, that's English. I love the Christmas lights. I love the Christmas lights. Oh my god, this bar. It's like how I would decorate a bar. This okay, bar we, sucks. I fucking love it. Do we go there? Do we go in the Kukin room? Uh, what's Kukin? Not much. What's Kukin you? Or do toilet! We, or do we go to toilet? I kind of want to go to toilet. Or the Kleedkammer Privé. Kukin is kitchen. Ah, okay. That's helpful. Thank you. Thank you to chat. Thank you, bad idea, JP Ronnie. I do want to go to toilet. Okay, let's go to toilet. We toilet. do have several options here. And the uh, Kleedkammer is a coat room. Oh, okay. Welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> Welcome to the murder bathroom, Jesus. It's a Y2K-esque bathroom. Gonna find a guy with his eyelids propped open. It is a cherry lime bathroom. <laughs> it is. <laughs> cherry lime 7-Up, the bathroom. Thank you for linking to my favorite tweet, BBH. <laughs> oh shit. The bediening is good. Occupied. Ah, the one is fierce, so he can read it. Take the dump. Sophia? Shit, please. More information than I needed, dude. I'm going to smell pizzas and I'm not a woman. I mean, what is your name? Ik vind Maria wel uit. Maar Tony, dat niet horen, jongen. Als je aan zijn dochter komt, kom je aan hem. So I assume there's no QTEs in this. Or at least I hope. Klaar? Hij zegt ook niks, ja. Klaar? Klaar? Hoe. Ik had mijn hoed laten liggen. Zonder mijn hoed was ik nergens. Kwetsbaar. Naakt. Yeah, he's got like a widow's peak that's just the peak. I love him. Where should we go next? Um, I think we should go to the kitchen. I'm hungry. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Let's see if we can get some grub. A cucan? <laughs> Knock, knock, knock. I'm hungry! 
Is that just a... <laughs> <laughs> what a choice. A uh, bunch of knives, pot, or some object. I can't even begin to guess what it is. Let's eat it. No! It... Mm. Yeah, eat I it, was going to say it looks it, like a tampon. It. I'm sorry. Hold the Yuma. <laughs> Ik heb vanavond een feestje, een barbecue. Alle winkels zijn dicht. Ik kom hier aanlopen, ik, ik zie de worst liggen en ik denk... Uh, ik wil er best voor betalen hoor. Daar gaat het niet om. Die worst is van Lila Lola. Lila Lola? De zangeres. Dat je dat niet weet, de zangeres. Dat is de meest bonnetje van de We discovered something. Oké, okay, the guy mentioned the shops are closed and... Niet uh... niet Get some good sausage. Oh yeah. Okay, so that was a sausage we were we were messing with. Excellent. And now we have more sauce. What are we gonna do with all the sausage? Oh, we'll find a use. Is it in my pockets now? Where is it? I guess so. You and I will get close tonight. I say to my sausage. <laughs> always helps to have a pocket full of sausages. That's what I always say. So, so the kitchen was. Go to the coat room. Let's go to the coat room. All right. Just so many sausages! I do appreciate this being a very simple FMV game. It's very accessible. All you do is push a button when you see a, a thing you want to visit. They tried to pare it down. That's good. Many FMV games are too complex. I'm singing here! Was she just lip-syncing or some shit? I think so. Ah, uh, it's dressing room, not coat room. Okay. That is a pretty good cigarette holder. So where do we go now? Uh, well, our choices include this shadowy area. I think that's the only place you haven't been. It may be the exit. We've been to Kukin. Mm -hmm. We've been to Le Toilet. Mm -hmm, I love the toilet. We've been to the Kleedkammer. Yeah, let's go there. I think that's the exit. We just gotta get out of here. We did get something in the bathroom, though. You want 20 sausages, ma'am? <laughs> My pockets are just bursting just... with them. I gotta get rid of this sausage. You holding sausage? Dough. Again, what are we gonna do with all the sausages? What are we gonna do with all these parking tickets? You parked on the red park carpet, Danny. Sorry. <laughs> it's clearly called the red park it. That's why I parked there. <laughs> so, should we go back to the office or should we head to the new place? I want to go back to the office just okay. for safety. And then we should go to the new place with our sausage. Yeah, yeah, we could probably unlock something with the sausage. It's not that chrome-plated sausage we wanted, but it'll do in a pinch. This game's ridiculous. <laughs> I want sausage. Check. Check. Double check. Hey Sam, there's echt niks meer. Nee, maar He did Jane Jetson her wallet. <laughs> Classic move. Straight from Hanna Barbera. Alright, I think we've got everything. Let's go to the place where it's easy to get killed, apparently. Oh, burning barrel. Androids were here. That's a joke for anyone who played Detroit. <laughs> Those androids just love burning barrels. That's like one of the weirdest parts of that game, aside from the racism and everything. <laughs> like we started up a new stronghold away from the humans. Let's get some barrels set on fire. 
Anyway, we're playing a much better game. Yeah. Here we are at the docks. The sewers are smoking. This hot... The fucking alligators in the sewers are hotboxing it. <laughs> They're just making sausage. It's fine. Oh, man. Blab, why do the robots need to stay warm? <laughs> okay, no, no. I'm not going down that path. No. We'll play Detroit eventually. We'll do no, a full playthrough on stream. No. We're gonna get all the endings. We're gonna lose all our, all our viewers. <laughs> We're going to turn into an all David Cage format. No. I'm howling in pain at the thought. So what is this place? Uh, not quite sure. Well, we got the car. Beep, beep. We also got a door. Like doors. We have another door. And... Back to the car. All right, what do you say? Door one or door two? Uh, door one. Unfortunately, we do not know Super Great Friend, so we cannot bring him in as a guest, but... <laughs> that would be cool. Super Great Friend, if you somehow know that we exist... Worlds uh, collide. Yeah. The world's foremost CDI experts. By default. Just by virtue of playing these games. Oh, we know the code. All I can think about is sausage. Please insert sausage. <laughs> Did it laugh at us? Seems like a dead end. Mm -hmm. Have you tried yelling "I'm hungry"? All right. Uh, the the code the, the code machine there just said, "Are you looking for something?" Like repeatedly. So. <laughs> sassing me. Everything's sassing me tonight. All I want is sausage. Sausage would never sass me. Let's no. go here. Cured meats are always respectful. Some good miming, dude. What are you trapped in a box? <laughs> oh. Well, I tried. Okay. Uh, one for Uzi mentions in chat that maybe you need to hear overhear the code for the thing in the uh, bathroom. Oh, could be. Maybe you want to go to the bathroom again. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Like, I got it this time. Just, like, shove some liverwurst in it. <laughs> Just pound on it. <laughs> I mean, that works, too. Try kicking it, dude. So, did you die? I'm dead. Oh my god, you died! It broke every bone in my body and sent me into a coma, much like everything does. <laughs> oh my god! Uh... <laughs> Shall we try that again? Yeah. Let's do one more attempt, and then we'll call it. Ah, uh, there's an English... There is this English subbed playthrough. Is this on YouTube, you see? Oh, this is on YouTube? I didn't even know. Cool. Well, maybe. Of my contour. I'll just be glad if this is documented somewhere since it, this game is so rare. It is on YouTube. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, good. So, yeah, click that link that Uzi uh, put in chat. After we're done, of course. Right. After you watch our brilliant playthrough. Okay, so talk to this. We need to go back to the bathroom, or do we have to, like... I don't know what we have to, to do. We have to go back and forth a bunch. This is unexplored territory for me. Oh, thank you, Codeman, for sharing this originally in the Discord, then. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you to Sam here. Oh, that's unfortunate you can't skip these scenes. Then you have to watch him look at the car. And then the dude. Can I skip this? 
I skipped part of it. Well, then there's no facial. <laughs> Is there a facial? And that, that can't be done. Actually, weren't there other things in the kitchen that we could have looked at? Maybe we can do that this time. Yeah, there were knives, a pot. Yeah, let's go for the knives. We're gonna go for the knives in this playthrough. They call me Knives Phillips. Not a nightclub fashion. And yeah, he doesn't have his pass anymore because the game started over. There's no continues. Oh, that sucks. Uh-huh. Well, that's interactive film. You gotta go with what you get. And if you don't like how I'm your man ended, uh, come back to the theater tomorrow. Can you imagine that? Not getting the ending you wanted to the movie, so you have to come back. It's like Clue all over again. Oh man, I went to the I went to the Citizen Kane revival, and this time Rosebud was the name of a pile of sausages. <laughs> Absolute worst. Rosebud was his dog. Was it mogelijk? Sam D. Phillips was iets vergeten. Yeah, yeah, give us our pass. Alright, back to the club. Oh, you link to what the sausages are for. Hmm. Mm. The club locked, ondanks the overstaande rekening. The last keer that ik er was. Now I'm hungry for sausage. Yeah, me too. I hope we're having sausage for dinner. I don't think we're having sausage for dinner. Oh man. Well, we can have sausage another night. Sausage on pizza. Sausage on a bagel. Pizza bagels. Pizza sausage bagels. Alright, dude. We got our pass. Let us in. I'm heading to the kitchen and getting the knives. Sugar, touch me. Sugar touch me right, you and I. That's what she said. Gonna get close tonight. I'm so glad we're playing this. We're the only people who could possibly stream this. No one else would bother. I mean, maybe some, some someone who you know, someone who's Dutch would play this, but one of the people who filmed it, maybe. <laughs> Let's get some weapons. You think he'll give us knives since we tried to pick up sausage last time? I hope so. Sausage looks disgusting, I'm sorry. Knives. 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 I just like knives. I come here binnen. I saw that light. You go out your gang, my young man. As you know, where you're hacked, follow the Spanish. Where rock is, is a fuel. And where people are, shall the blood flow. Messen. Hoge bomen vangen veel wind. Ja, en als het kalf verdronken is, dem men de put. He threw a fuck in there. He gave you a knife. We do get a knife. Okay. Can we go? Can we go in multiple times to get multiple things? Ah, the guy was like, "Where there's smoke, where there's fire." Okay. That's even more confusing. You and I Want to try to go back in and get the sausages? Yes. Too? Yes. All right. Yes. This is a knife and sausage playthrough. We're doing this so we can get the dog ending. Sorry, I'm just thinking of sausage and being like, damn, that shit's good. It is. Summer sausage, smoked sausage, hickory sausage, chromium sausage. And dually sausage. Now, what was the other thing that was on offer in here? It was a pot. Yeah, let's get the pot, too. Okay. Dude, what the hell? What are you doing? This isn't your kitchen, 
Nasty! Yeah, yeah! Kick his ass! I like this guy's only role is to yell at this asshole who's ruining his kitchen. He's cross-contaminating everything! This is gluten-free! You are covered in gluten! Is he gonna kill me? Did he kill me? That, did, he killed me! That's he it. He killed us! We got too greedy. He we did. got too greedy. It's either the knives or the sausage, but not the pot. You take the pot, that is pushing the man too far. To be fair, you were putting your nasty lips all over the yeah, serving spoon. He did kind of shove his face in the pot and then just start eating it. Mm -mm -mm. Getting my, all my germs all over this food. But was it worth breaking every bone in my body and sending me into a coma? I mean, look at you, maybe. Danny, we have to go back to this game. We will. I think what I'll do is I'll play this off stream and see if I can possibly piece together a full playthrough. Maybe even figure out a way to get the uh, the subtitles on the screen. That would be nice. Yeah. If I have to buy a PAL CDI, I probably won't. <laughs> It. These systems are very unreliable at this point. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have to leave Sam here in this hospital with all of his broken bones. Oh, Sam. He'll heal, but it'll take some time. And once he does, he'll be right back on stream. You can count on that. You know who did this? It was that Monica. <laughs> Monica set him up! Yeah, Monica told the chef about us, told him a bunch of lies. That's Dezak Van Sam, a game you will never see again on Twitch until we stream it again. <laughs> or until someone just decides to go through the whole CDI library, which is just as unlikely. Maybe we'll see him again. I feel bad for Sam, just sitting there breaking all those pencils. Mm -hmm. He's He's got to have his day. Every dog has his day, and every Sam is on the CDI. I want sausages. Let's, Let's go eat dinner. Sauce. Okay. All right, are we done? We're done. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is a shot from the back of the Zach Van Sam, a scene we didn't get to see. This is the thing that made me check to see if it was porn. <laughs> Danny. Fortunately, it wasn't. No, it's very normal. Hope you enjoyed FMV Night featuring the Philips CDI. Always a joy. Always. And thanks for watching. We're Retro Pals. We do this sort of thing a lot. We stream several times a week. And you can even vote for what we play during our Wednesday showcase streams. Head to patreon.com slash retropals, pitch in five bucks a month or more, and you can vote in our weekly polls. This week, people said they wanted to see Girls Club, and I am so glad you did, because that game was delightful. I want to I wanna archive that game, put it up on YouTube. That was, that was a good playthrough. Monica, we'll get you. We'll get you, Monica. <laughs> Monica's ruining our life. Monica is totally into MLMs now, and she's hitting us up on Facebook. Oh, totally. Uh, no worries, bad idea. Thank you so much for all the translation work you did do. We yeah, appreciate much appreciated. It. That gave us a lot of c good context. Yeah. I wouldn't have known anything about this game otherwise. Anyway, Alex, why don't you wrap us up? All right, we're also on YouTube at youtube.com slash retropals. That's where we post uh, highlights of our streams. In fact, the latest highlight went up uh, on Monday, and it is... Uh, it is game.com catalog exploration. Game.com. It is. It, well, you know, you we did have the, to say it like that. We, yeah, we did play through every game for the Gamecom a while back, and that is going up on YouTube. So check that out. We've also got uh, the newest episode of Nintendo 64 Chronicles up on there, and uh, the newest episode of our podcast, which you can also find on iTunes, uh, Fletcher, uh... <laughs> Just Alex, making, Beef. Alex <laughs> blatantly making up words. No, it's on iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Spotify, and all that good stuff. So do check that out if you like to hear us talk. And if you don't like to hear us talk, what are you doing here? Well, the stream's almost over. Good for you. <laughs> Who are we hosting here? Why don't we go with... Oh, God, this game... All right, so Aquas is the only person I know who can make Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins palatable for me. I can't stand this game, but watching him play it is like watching an artist at his easel. <laughs> he bends <laughs> the game to his will, he makes it look playable. Don't believe it, it's not playable. But it is pretty entertaining to watch him play through it because he's very good at it. So go wish him luck, have a great rest of your night, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.